the borderline condition, the way I describe it, is that it is a condition for people who grew up feeling that they did not get their needs met with the hope that if they could form the proper relationship that uh, that would solve their problems. And so when they enter their adolescent and young adult years, they try to get exclusive relations. In fact, many of them try to do that well before that, but becomes more socially observable at that age. They try to form exclusive relationships with someone and uh, that invariably uh, creates tension. The other person will feel like uh, they're getting swallowed up. Uh, so they withdraw, and then the borderline, person with borderline personality disorder will get very anxious about this. And the anxiety takes the form of angry devaluation, you never cared, you were never, um, uh, all you, you said was a lie, uh, I can't count on you, I should never have trusted you, what we call angry devaluation. And it alternates with, there's something inherently wrong with me, now as when I was a child, nobody can really love me and give me what I need, and there's something wrong and bad about myself. And it's under those circumstances that the person can become self-destructive, oftentimes cutting or burning or other forms of deliberate self-harm occur under those circumstances. They originally start out as a way of coping with this sense of badness, taking mental pain and converting it into something physical. But it gets converted with time into a cry for help. When it becomes something that's recognized by school teachers, friends, family, they oftentimes get a lot of solicitous attention. Then they're back into the situation where somebody really cares and they're needy, idealizing, hopeful, uh, and they can imagine that they are a good person and that they are lovable, and it starts all over again. They become very dependent on the attention from that other person. And then when it's broken, the cycle starts again. That's my way of understanding this disorder.